Right, folks, year of the bullpup continues here in Kiev. We have another bullpup here. It is the uh, Maluk rifle, the so-called Maluk rifle. Um, it is a heavily modified AK-74 or AK-47 rifle. The gentleman right behind me holds the 47 version, and this is the 74 with uh, 5.54, uh, 5.4 primer. Sorry. Um, of course, it comes without the uh, red dot, without, without the endpoint, without the foregrip. Uh, but you, know, you can get a fairly good idea of what you can get. Of course, also without the uh, flashlight. But um, so I had the chance to shoot it a few years ago when I saw it on the last year's exhibition. But I didn't make a video on it because um, while shooting, the cricket has, had problems. It didn't want to catch the hammer reliably, so I didn't have the. You know, I didn't think that this concept has potential. But now they improved it, and the, the cricket seems to work very reliably. Um, what I also like about this gun, what I liked the last time when I saw and, shoot, and shot it, the mag release is a standard mag release back here, and uh, also we have a mag release right behind the trigger. So if you want to do a quick reload, you can pull out the magazine here by dropping this magazine, and it's not a rock, rock and load action. Uh, it was modified so this mag release catches on a tab here in the front, so when you put it in, you're just like a standard AR magazine just drop it in that's all um, very natural bolt handle is not reciprocating for example here I hold the bolt back and you see the handle stays to the front I move the bolt the bolt handle doesn't move so you can actually hold it like this for example for more stability and the uh, uh, bolt handle will not reciprocate so safety is a push pin safety trigger safety only the hammer safety is here in the rear there's a safe position there's a fire position and uh, if you put it here to the middle, is a uh, single position, single fire, fully automatic. Um, they have a case deflector over here that can take off. Works like this, so you can shoot it from the left shoulder. I'm not a fan of these case deflectors. If I have to switch to the left shoulder, I just twist the rifle a little so the shells fly uh, towards the body armor. But you can you can use it. Uh, you you don't have to use it. Uh, I will not take it apart for you guys because uh, I'm not really aware how it's done on this model. But uh, I will add a video where uh, the developer um, takes it apart on video. All in all, I think this is a very, very nice rifle for the U.S. Uh, civilian market. It's here on the Ukraine civilian market. It already hit the sales like a few months ago, and it sells for a little under 3,000 uh, U.S. dollars, which might, may sound a lot for U.S. customers. But uh, for East Europe, for a full pop, it's actually not that bad. But um, I bet it will be somewhere around $1,500, maybe $2,000. Again, you get a sturdy AK-74 in a nice full pop conversion. It has very, very nice balance. I hold it on two trig triggers, and I have a 50-50 balance here in the front, here in the rear. So it's very good maneuverable with one hand. And um, it feels very light. Not, as, not quite as light as a Croatian rifle, but OK. I'm not sure if the Croatian rifle is as sturdy as a good, reliable, and trusted AK-74, AK-47. I need to put the cheek rest on here. Excuse me, not the cheek rest, the case detector. Okay, put it back. So this is the AK-47 uh, Special Ops version with, with a sound suppressor, with a magnifier. This is a uh, simple aim point, release and forget magnifier. And also a uh, eight point uh, red dot on there. Have four grip with a bipod in it. Again, all the same control except this is a uh, 7.62x39 version. Magazine is the same. You don't have to do the rock and lock, uh, uh, rock and lock action. Just put it straight. That's all. Just like in the yard mag. So the trigger on these guns for a bullpup feels surprisingly good. It feels like a modified AK-74 or AK-47 trigger when the guys start, start like grinding them and stuff so they get a little more soft, a little more uh, easier to release. And you don't have this, you know, this heavy and, you know, lashy pull of a standard pull pop. That's what I like. Actually, not something I would go in the field with because I, don't, I just don't have the common experience with this rifle. I don't know how it will behave. But thinking about it, this is an AK, this is some, definitely something that I would uh, buy myself a home for. Right, folks, again, here of the bullpup, you're in Kiev.